I hope that you got off to a great start to this new year 2023. I certainly can't complain. There's been quite a few things happening since the beginning of the year that are very exciting and that I can't wait to share with you in today's video. Coming up. Hey there around the water filmmakers, it's great to see all you smiling faces again for this first Tuesday video in 2023. I hope that you had a fantastic festive season and that you were able to spend a lot of quality time with your family, friends and loved ones. I definitely needed that break and I came out of that two and a half, three weeks break with a lot of new energy that I wanna put back into the channel as we're moving into 2023. Also, there has been quite a few things happening since my last Tuesday video here on the channel, which was back in December. And I wanna use this video to bring you up to date and to just let you know about all the cool stuff that has been happening since then, which is also gonna inflict the um, sort of route this channel is gonna be taking in the future. First of all, I'm very proud to announce that after 2020, for the second time in a row, I was named Swiss champion in underwater videography and I was sent this little trophy here. Now back in September last year, I took part at the um, Swiss underwater video challenge, which is basically the Swiss championship in underwater videography, which took place in a local lake um, in central Switzerland. And uh, it took the jury quite a bit of time to make a decision on the ranking. But just before New Year's Eve, I got an email saying that I was uh, that I was placed first in that competition, which makes me which makes me very happy and a little bit proud at the same time for two reasons. First of all, it's the second time in a row. I'm really happy about that. So I keep my uh, title as Swiss champion in underwater videography. But the second reason is even more important because um, I decided before going into that competition that I was not going to use uh, my red Komodo rig or even my GH5S underwater camera rig, but I decided to use my iPhone instead inside the DiveFork C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing. Now this might have, um, uh, this might seem like an odd decision because if you ask anyone who's taking part in competitions as an underwater filmmaker, most of these people, uh, I bet, will take their best um, and their most capable underwater camera rig for the competition, to use that to shoot during the competition. I specifically decided against it, again, for two different reasons. First of all, I wanted to show uh, myself that I can produce a, um, a good film using just my iPhone um, and obviously some accessories, but it was all shot on the iPhone. And secondly, um, I just wanted to make that statement that it's not the camera that decides whether or not your film is gonna turn out well, but it's really the person behind the camera um, who knows how to work that specific camera, that model, to use the strength of that camera and avoid the weaknesses um, and get the best possible result um, with what they have at hand. And I think that that has worked quite well. I'm very proud of the result that I've achieved and I'm very happy to be able to call myself Swiss champion again for another two years. Um, and this little trophy here will find its place right back there on the shelf where the other trophy is uh, sitting um, as well. My winning video has not really been shown anywhere so far. So I invite all of you guys to come and watch the video as a premiere here on YouTube with me together. It will air on Thursday, the 12th of January, which is this Thursday at 6 p.m. Central European time. So if you can make this, 
it will be my huge honor to have you all during this premiere and uh, we can watch the film together. It's only a short film, about four minutes something. And then afterwards, I will be there to answer questions that might come up or that might have come up during watching this um, winning film there. So if you're free, Thursday, the 12th of January, 6 p.m. Central European time. It'll be my great pleasure to welcome you here for the premiere and watch it together with you. If, on the other hand, you're more interested in learning about the uh, behind the scenes and the backstory of this film, how it was created, um, what equipment I've used, what accessories I've used to create those images, um, also how I came up with the story and how the story plays a really important part in not just that film, but any film really. So we'll have a little excursion into the field of storytelling there as well. Then next Tuesday's video is one that you shouldn't be missing. I'll be talking about all the things in next Tuesday's video. So make sure to have a look at that video once it comes out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is a good time to do so. So you get notified as soon as the video drops next Tuesday. Another cool thing that has happened just around the New Year's change is that we've reached 8,000 subscribers here on the channel. And this is thanks to every single one of you. So here it goes, my heartfelt thank you to all of you guys for supporting this channel, for being part of this ever-growing um, family of underwater filmmaking enthusiasts. Um, yeah, thank you very, very much for being part of this. It really means the world to me and uh, it makes me very happy to see how much, how much benefit you guys are getting from the content that I provide here on YouTube. Now, the next goal for me personally is to reach the 10,000 subscriber mark by the end of this year, by the end of 2023. Um, how can you help me with this? Well, very simply, if you have any diving friends that are interested in underwater filmmaking, um, let them know about the channel. If they don't know about this channel yet, they should definitely hear about it. So go ahead and share my videos on your social media channels and, uh, and tell other people about the channel, other people that might be interested in the topic of underwater videography, underwater filmmaking, and anything that goes along with it. Thank you very much for spreading the word and hopefully helping me getting the 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now, even though this has been great, having so much interaction with you guys and being able to share all my knowledge through this channel, it has also come with some challenges because as you know, this is not my full-time job. I run a film production company here in, in Zurich and this is sort of what I do by the side. And in the last sort of year, year and a half, this, um, the, the content that I create for YouTube has been taking up um, more and more of my time and I I really had to kind of um, take time away from my client work to be able to constantly provide uh, the quality content that you guys are used to from this channel here uh, in terms of doing the research, producing the videos, being in interaction with all of you guys, answering comments, all that sort of stuff. So. I was actually thinking how can I make this work a little better in terms of um, keeping the quality, the consistency and everything of the channel, but at the same time being able to pull out a little more from my corporate job um, and spending some more time with creating these videos for you. So I've decided to introduce the um, membership plans or two membership plans to be exact um, on my YouTube channel here. So what does this mean to you as a subscriber or a viewer of this channel? Well, it basically means nothing's gonna change if you're a subscriber or a viewer of this channel. The content's still gonna be for free. I'm still gonna be producing weekly tutorials and review videos on Tuesdays and there's still gonna be the reviewing around the water films episodes coming every Thursday. But, I will introduce some membership plans which will give you guys the option to um, support this channel by signing up for such a membership plan. Um, and in exchange, you're gonna get some extra benefits uh, from my side. 
So there's going to be two different membership plans and they will come with different price tags, of course. Um, the first one, which I call the underwater videographer membership, will come with benefits like, for example, exclusive live streams um, that will be held inside the member area. Uh, and they will be only accessible for members. They will be on a regular basis, probably every two, or every three months, we'll have such a live stream session where members can ask me anything they wanna know about underwater videography. Also, there is gonna be shout outs uh, on just regular videos on my channel for the members, and there's also gonna be a prioritization when it comes to answering comments and questions. So if you're a member and you uh, place a comment or a question below a video, your comment will be marked specifically, and those are gonna be the questions and comments that I will be answering first. This doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be answering any other comments, but if the sheer amount of comments is increasing and I just don't have the time, won't have the time to answer all of the comments, it's gonna be the member comments and questions that will be answered for sure, and any other ones will be answered whenever I get the time to do so. These are only a couple of the benefits that wait for you if you decide to go for the underwater videography membership. You can find a list of all the benefits by going to my channel page and then clicking on the button become a member. You will find a list there with all the benefits that are included in this membership. The second membership, I call it the Underwater Filmmaker membership, will have all the benefits from the first membership, but will also come with some add-ons, like for example, um, discounts on my digital products that I sell inside my online store, like for example, online courses, LUT packs, all that sort of stuff. You'll get a 50% discount on everything that is sold inside my online store. Also, you will get a prioritization when it comes to reviewing your films that you submit to the series reviewing your underwater films. As you might know, right now we have about seven, eight months of wait time when you submit a film until we get to watch it, review it and publish it on the channel. If you submit a film as a member, you will basically skip the line and uh, you will get reviewed right away and published right away as well. This applies obviously to all new submissions, but also to every one of you who has already submitted a film for review within the series and is waiting for that review to be published. If you now decide to join the Underwater Filmmaking um, membership, uh, your review will be prioritized and will be uh, published pretty much right away. Again, you can see all the benefits of the second membership plan by going to my channel page and clicking the button become a member and having a look through the list of all the extra benefits that are included in this membership. So again, I just want to make clear that introducing these memberships is not going to reduce any of the free content that I will be placing and putting out here on YouTube. That's going to stay exactly the same, but I do want to um, give those guys who want to support the channel a little more. I want to give you guys a little extra benefit with um, all the things that I'm offering in the two different membership plans there. I can ensure you that every single penny that I make in revenue from these memberships will go directly back into creating content for this channel and making this channel even better than what it is today. I really wanna make this the go-to resource for anyone who wants to learn about underwater filmmaking. And to be able to do that, I do need more time to be able to put into the channel and that's where your financial support comes into play. So if you're considering becoming a member, Thank you very much for your membership and for your trust and uh, your help in making this channel a really good resource for everyone who wants to learn about underwater videography. And last but not least, before we bring this video to an end, let me just quickly mention all the great underwater videography workshops and group trips that I have put together for you in 2023. We'll start off with probably one of my favorites, a scouting trip to the South Ariatol in the Maldives, where I'm going to be checking out a future location or a location for future underwater videography workshops. You can join me there if you want to. It's not gonna be a workshop, we'll just be hanging 
out, diving and having fun in the Maldives. And this is going to happen in early um, April this year. This will be followed by an underwater videography workshop in Croatia in June this year. And then we'll have a bit of a summer break and uh, towards the autumn winter time, we'll team up with um, James from Divers Ready, my dear friend, and we'll have a a uh, group trip to the Philippines um, towards the end of October and early November. And then to sort of end this year, we'll do a liveaboard trip in the Maldives. Uh, and this is going to happen towards the end of November, early December. The details for this trip are not out. I'm just finalizing them now. As soon as they will be ready, I will obviously let you know. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for your time and for watching and for all your help, encouragement and everything you do to make this channel what it is. I'm really curious to see where this year is going to take us, but I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic year for all of us. Enjoy capturing all your amazing underwater adventures and I will see you next week or maybe even this Thursday when we'll watch together my award-winning film my first time as a premiere here on YouTube. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.